Hello Sagittarius, this is your channel messages for the 26th of September. Let's go ahead and go into your reading, Sagittarius. I was hearing, where do you go? Don't you need my love, baby? Why don't you go on and let us stay? When are you going to come my way? Mm -hmm. What kind of things they been telling you? I gotta stop me from telling you, oh boy. This, I was trying to load the karaoke version, but the fucking shit not loading. I want to say this is Bell Canada's fault, but apparently Rogers has bought Bell, so we can no longer blame this on Bell Canada. This is Rogers' problem now. What's it here? Hey! What was that? Oh. All Afghan black people and shall come back to Africa. Where do you go? Don't you need my love, baby? Why can't you come on and let us play? When are you going to come my way? Nah. What's all the things they be telling you? I've got to stop them from compelling you, oh boy. They just won't stop me from getting you. Ah. Give me a try, cause I know that things will be great. Free your mind, I true love dies and only creates. I'm gonna take you right there, love for a lifetime. I'm gonna make your life so clear, boy. I'm gonna make him mine. I'm gonna take him right there. Oh, for a lifetime. I'm gonna make your life so clear, boy. I'm gonna make your mind. Yeah, that's just what I wanted to tell <laughs> Sagittarius. Hi, Sagittarius. I am your host, Vanessa Carby, spiritual practitioner, tarot reader, and psychic medium. Let's go ahead and go into your channel messages. It seems it seems like it was probably a good idea. Rogers bought Bell because you see. Okay, let's just go. What the fuck is happening here? Oh, it's lipstick. <laughs> Next thing you thought I was getting beat off camera. <laughs> I would record it and put it online if anything like that was happening to me. The world would know, even if my shame, the world would know. The world will see my abuse. Just like how I saw it. I don't care. Don't fucking care. Sweetie, I'm gone 31 years already. All right, so. <laughs> We got phone number. Who's calling me from an unknown number? Okay, so I'm getting easy. The a phone number is calling you. You don't recognize. Okay, maybe somebody want you to give them a try. Cause you know that you're still the one. All right, somebody want to get in contact with you or someone's messaging you from a different number because they want your they want your time. Phone number magic. So somebody I'm trying to manipulate you. So they're calling you or they're trying to get back in contact with you because they want to again. They want a one night stand. Well, a one night stand can. Oh, my apologies. Phone number and no phones allowed. You fucker, yo. So you will not be enjoying that girl's Taurus again. Um, apparently she block you. You can't get her contact again. And even if you do, me getting she not answer your call. So, yeah, you're trying to manipulate somebody program. MK Ultra, yeah. You're trying to manipulate. I don't know what you do. I'm getting every time I get the phone number, you do something with this phone number. The phone number is very significant. I'm getting you take the people in phone number, you did something with it. Um, I don't know if you are trying to run the phone number in a simulation. I'm getting you need somebody to play along, fall underneath your magic, and I guess you need to have a one night stand with somebody. Something like that. Let's clarify though. Phone number is a death card. So I'm getting the, your phone break, the screen break, or the phone stop work. No, this is phone number. So it could be a disconnection of service. If that's not it, me getting a totally change your phone number. Or something about this magic ritual. Me getting into this weird ritual with somebody. I don't know what you do with the phone number. Like literally, me feel like if I get somebody phone number, you can do something and make them walk with Tim Hortons if you want. Like something just coming at them brain and them get up and walk, God, somebody go buy something. Maybe something about phone number, it could also be something about GPS. 
We're getting GPS system and phone number. Like, yeah, it's like you can make people walk or you can make people go certain places and shop certain places if you have them phone number. I always wondered, why is it that you have to have phone number for logging to your bank? Isn't that weird? Me never say CRA asks you for phone number before. Me never say um, Toronto official site asks you for phone number. Why your bank need you for asking you for phone number? Because that's how they launder money in your accounts in the middle of the fucking night and then they, they delete the transaction so you don't see. Why you need a phone number? Me getting something about your debit card and a phone number or something about... I don't know, some weird manipulation shit. Me getting people, me getting that's why I get gone back at the coffee place every day. That's why I gone to the place every day. Something about your phone number. Something like that. One night stand is the. Alright, so phone number is the debt. And one night stand is a page of ones. So me getting the last place somebody was seen is over your house. The girl or the guy go over your house and they never left. And you're saying, yes, they left, they did not. The last outgoing caller to you. And me getting you're the one who's apparently taking over this fucking ceremony. I'm um, talking on the podium about how much you miss this person. It could be a Scorpio. Me getting a you set them up. One night stand, me getting the, me don't know if you have sex with them. And somebody had sex with somebody and they never brought them back. Them dead. Come getting the last person she was seen with was you. The last person she had sex with was you. And the last outgoing call or message out is to you. And are you, I, them I catch you up here on Richard the Grave. One night stand. Unless you go graveyard. Go to the graveyard magic. Because you want to turn somebody into a fucking ghost. So that the person can call you and fuck you like a ghost. You're using, bro, you have no motherfucking swag. Yeah, I use ghost forget pussy. You should have just get, you should have all of the best pum pum they a Kingston Why you never buy a Birkin for Jada Kingdom? Speaking of Jada Kingdom, I saw Jada Kingdom and Spice They, they, they were on video call in an airport and them end up found where both of them was and them link up Jada Kingdom was performing at Arakabessa in New York And Spice show up to our set and surprise her Both of them, goody, yes goody Yes, good in Jada Kingdom. I want to some girl. Them can never be the queen of dance hall. Me love it. Spice, me love it. And I hope that the age. Uh, Spice, you know, you know, say you're a hot girl. And even though you had the. Need life, boom, boom, the needle eye, boom, boom. Right and good, Spice, right and good. Even though Spice have a needle eye, boom, boom. Spice, Jada Kingdom is young. Jada Kingdom younger than me, you know. Let me look. <laughs> this is a fucking shame. This is a fucking shame. Can you look on look on Jada Kingdom? Great. Look on me. Okay, I think I'm older than Jada Kingdom. Jada Kingdom is 26 years old. She born 1998. Okay, but born 1993. I am 31 years old. You're telling me that at the age 26, all of the best boom boom reside at Kingston. So he bought a Birkin for Jada Kingdom. I'm 31. I, I only have a fucking Ziploc bag that is half fucking open, right? More older than Jada Kingdom. So I'm just hoping, Spice, with the age difference, you see her more to mentor her. Her, and not to control her or start no beef with her or say who fucks it tighter, right? Because after the surgeries that Spice did and the repentance that she did in God and Jada Kingdom's natural ass, we don't know which ass will attack us first, right? So we just ask asking for peace, keep the woman peace, not go against each other. Because Spice is an industrial long she's a big woman and enough girl betrays Spice and enough Spice is a person she don't hang around a lot of people. So if she come, come surprise you. That's a big, big, that's a big, big thing for Spice to just show up on your stage. And she never show up in a costume. She show up in a Jagger's outfit. She show up in a running outfit. Sports Jimmy outfit. So Jada could have our stage. I hope that she and Jada become very, very good collaborators and friends. I love to see that. I love to see the girl power. Let us continue the reading, right? So what's the was program? Program is a lover's card. Again, somebody want to call you back for your one night sex. They want one, one night stand. And me getting a tell them no. Me getting somebody like, me, not, me getting for some reason, you must, you must hang out with this person and you're going to pass out. I don't know if you had drink or the drugs. Me getting stay away from this fire sign. is a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius man. Me not think I want Sagittarius, but thinking more Aries or Leo. Stay away from him. Come and getting him and lower you. He might say, oh, my girlfriend died, somebody died, oh, I just lost my girlfriend. He didn't tell you he's the one who killed her. Um, phone number on the dead card. 
It's like so, maybe a GPS. Them get your phone number, them are running through something everywhere you go. You ask the people, a pass you. People are everywhere you go. You go to a supermarket, you go to a grocery store, you go to a bank. A lot of people there are looking at you. I'm getting a car, your GPS leak or your phone number. So somebody might want to set you up. But program, somebody is trying to find a way so you can like literally navigate and reroute yourself to be with them. That's what somebody want. Me get to get now tech to be it. You don't want it again because you know somebody full of shit. They're full of shit like fucking Lucifer. Um, we have the Eight of Cups, clarifying magic. Also, you don't drink, so the spell don't work on you. Me getting if you didn't drink, them could have put the spirit inside of you and get it on their bed. There's a meeting in my bed. In my bed. There's a meeting in my bed. Right, they wanted to get in them bed. Me getting you don't drink. That's why you're seeing. And even though the snake is over her side, um, this is this talks about liberation in, within the bedroom. It's okay to say no when you don't want to have sex, even if it's your boyfriend, even if it's your husband. If you're horny, you're not horny. You can say no. We're not in the mood. Me used to say that and then when me would have said that, my well, ex-husband, he would have find a reason for cuss me till me cry and then when me cry, him come back to me and kiss me upon my teeth and then him take off my clothes for have sex with me when me I cry. Him look like he didn't like to have sex with me when I was crying. So remember women, uh, and then these are lessons I had to learn being a divorcee. You have to learn these lessons just because of your band. You know what I mean? Say, I have all right to your body. You can't say no when you want. If you're not in the mood, you're not in the mood. If he does not want to start off a session, you can't say no. The fuck you think this is? I want the, I want the church alone tell you say you're a servant to your blood clot husband. And the church has yet to tell us what the fuck you must serve your husband in the fucking dinner room. Because we are here to know if we must give him a can of fish or we must give him curry mutton, right? I want the church alone to tell girls say our, our blood clot place to serve husband. Serve the fucking husband. Yet again, we don't see the husband serving her any fucking checks. We don't see the woman getting any checks. Them tell you cook for your husband, serve your husband, follow your husband, be a, be, be a, be a assistant to your husband. I can be assistant to my husband if he's motherfucking Elon Musk. <laughs> he's, he's, he's Ali. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Let's go there. Yeah. Okay, so no phones allowed. <laughs> Y'all gonna get me motherfucking in trouble. No phones allowed is a four up. Yeah, no phones allowed. Somebody not answering your call. Then don't take calls from you. The, the, the number you have dialed is no longer in service. Right? Me getting the number is no longer in service. Jesus Christ. I feel like something is way betting on this. You got dead if you don't fuck this person. This is how it feel. MK Ultra is a ten of pentacles and you lose a lot of money. So I don't know what you did. Me getting you lose enough, enough money trying to pursue this girl maybe i make a bet with somebody yeah i bet you i'm gonna dog this bitch and next day i'm gonna call her back and i'm gonna have her in my bed doggy style i'm so sorry sweetheart what you did is you did fuck up someone's night but then you left it to another to get your girl and he had your girl in a doggy style position holding her hair so that you, you were like yeah this person is going to you swear you tie somebody and you go graveyard, you do your little magic and you say, yeah, your person will come to you, you'll kill them or you'll do this weird ass spell upon them, you and them are going to drink, then they're going to take a break or they're going to sick and then you're going to get enough money. Me getting you have to pay about the money, nobody's taking a break, you're still drinking, uh, we don't know where the fuck the grave came from, somebody know you're trying to set them the fuck up um, and you still ain't getting no pussy. How do you feel knowing that before your parents decided that they wanted to fall in love and you came, they did not know that you would have been a fucking mistake? How do you feel about this? How do you feel knowing that your parents said to themselves, wow, if only I finished college, he wouldn't be here? How do you feel? You should feel terrible. Cause yeah, you're really trying to set up somebody for pussy. Oh, pussy and money, I'm oh, sorry. Money and pussy. <laughs> if you were a real G, you would know a pimp, pimp, a man. Yes, we understand that money and pussy are the matter. But real hustlers not have to win the lotto. This is what we're saying to you. Real hustlers never have to win the lotto. 
you should have played a lot instead of a set up one girl because of our nookie and because you want to set her up for ten of pentacles. Me getting you lose everything and you have to pay it back. Fuck her you. Fuck her you. I'm going to leave it here. Until next time, bye.